Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a daily general reading for uh, Thursday, January 31st, 2019. Uh, energies are fluid, okay? So please keep in mind that this um, this may be something happened that, that will happen today. This may be something going you're going through today, or it may not. It may be something you, you're going to go through or you're heading towards going through later on in the future maybe something happened in the past and it's a general reading so it may not resonate with you either please take what resonates and leave what doesn't yeah if you would like a personal reading with me go ahead and shoot me an email divine conversations 2711 at gmail.com also all of the readings that i i offer are listed in the description box below so you can just go through that and send me an email. If you can't decide, then just send me an email anyway, and we'll figure it out, yeah? So, that's about it. So let's get into it, guys. Let's see what we've got for today. Also, this is a, this is a, this, um, this reading is not specific. It's not specific to love, a sign, or, or whatever, career. This is just what Spirit wants to discuss today. All right, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, January 31st, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. So, I've had this song in my head. Well, hold on. Archangel Michael's going by. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, I've had this song stuck in my head all week, to be honest. It's a Katy Perry song. It's off of her album, Witness. Um, which I actually happen to really, really like. Um, when I was going through a major transformation, actually when that album came out, it was 2017? Yeah, it was the summer of 2017. I was going through a huge transformation. And um, that album really spoke to me at that time. But recently, I came across the album again, but it went, in really, in honestly, one of the most random ways. And it was during the, this time last week, actually, when, you know, we were going through a huge purge and, and all that stuff. Um, and so now I've reconnected with that album. And it's funny because it still resonates with me, which is, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> but it's this one song called Save as Draft. Um, and that actually falls in line with this whole reconciliation theme that we've been dealing with lately. It talks, she talks about, you know, writing something, writing a letter to someone and, you know, and struggling on whether to send it um, because she doesn't want to like reopen the wound and blah, blah, blah. And so it just ends up as saves, she just saves it as draft, um, as a draft. And I really feel like that's what a lot of us are dealing with right now. Um, now, this doesn't mean that you're doing this, but I feel like there could be someone out there connecting with you or that you've been connecting with that's, that's experiencing this at the moment. Whoever that is to you, you know, I'll, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to throw a bunch of labels out there. If it resonates with you, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but that song has been in my head all week. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like um, it's something that, you know, you might resonate with. So... Go ahead and check that out if you want to. Katy Perry, Save as Draft, off of her album, Witness. Um, it's a good album. I like it. <laughs> okay. Last shuffle. Cool. Let's see what we've got here, guys. Monday, January 31st, 2019. Monday. Ah, Moonchild. Okay. Oh, good gracious, good gracious. Wow. Okay, underneath the deck is the Queen of Swords. And you know what's so funny about this, guys? 
Um, I've been meaning, let me turn these up right. I've been meaning to, well, this was actually, this was reversed. It was judgment that wanted to stay upright. I've been meaning to mention that song all week and I just never did. And now that I mentioned it, here we are talking about what's going on with it. So we have the Page of Cups again. We have Judgment, the Page of Cups, Moonchild, the Knight of Cups. That's the first row, okay? Um, <laughs> underneath that is the Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and Strength. So the first thing I see with this Page of Cups in Reverse is that there's some sort of apology or communication that didn't come through and probably isn't going to come through anytime soon, I would say. Moonchild talks about um, learning from the phases of the moon, using the phases of the moon, uh, talking about moon cycles, but also your, your cycle. Um, I'm seeing, I mean, you could be talking about your feminine cycle, but I'm seeing more of um, your energetic cycles, what you learn from them, how you learn from them, how you experience them. I do... I do want to read from the book a little bit here. A little bit later. Don't put that there because then people can't see the Queen of Swords. We don't want to be blocking the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Let's see. Let's. Um, I want to read the, about the Moon Child because this is one of the special cards in this deck. Unique cards. Where are you? There you are. When this card shows up, it asks you to consider how you can cultivate your own sacred relationship with the moon. This luminous beacon functions as a great celestial doorway into new spaces and opportunities within and around you, helping you see beyond the limitations of your lived reality. Through keeping track of her ebb and flow, as well as our feelings and sensations each day, we can refine our intuition and boundaries each month to help support more informed choices when it comes to our heart. So there are some key questions here. Are there energies that need to be released? Is it time to start a new project? What is internally or externally exhibiting, in, oh, sorry, inhibiting you from rising, growing, or healing? How are you delaying your own productivity? I'm gonna be quite honest. For some of you that are waiting for some sort of apology to come through, I'm just going to be blunt about it. You're really kind of just wasting your time. Um, and that's not to say that now I did mention earlier, I did mention that for some of you, so for some people, it's just not going to come through anytime soon. But if you're waiting for it now, if you're waiting for it, number one, that doesn't mean to say it absolutely won't come through. Okay. But if your life is on hold, waiting for some sort of apology, some sort of reconciliation, um, some sort of validation or whatnot, you are in fact wasting your time because you don't need that to move forward in your life and to take care of what it is you want to do with yourself, okay? The Knight of Cups is here again. And the Knight of Cups has been talking about um, moving forward with an open heart, um, you know, it's so interesting because what I'm seeing with this is the final judgment has been made here, okay, with judgment and the page of cups in reverse, all right? And now for some of you, this, this apology, this reconciliation, whatnot is not, not, is not coming through because of this queen of swords energy. And I'm going to say it right now. I don't feel that as a bad thing. To me, it just means that um, 
someone <laughs> someone is aware of this probably this person that owes you an apology they're aware that you have every right and the ability to cut them down to size and they just don't want to handle that they just don't want to deal with it point blank period it's almost as if it's almost as if they're running scared to a certain extent i'm not saying that you know I, I, it's just they're avoiding the situation they're avoiding the issue okay but see this is exactly why you don't need to be waste, wasting your time waiting for that to come through you need to be learning your lesson going through the cycles you could say you know with the moon but this to me is just talking about um the site your cycles of experience okay what have you learned from this the moon represents the mind um intuition you know hidden circumstances whatnot it can it, it can um symbolize fear represent fear in some cases seeing through the veil is what i just heard so what have you learned in this situation and what can you put to rest because once you put it to rest i do feel like especially with this knight of cups here somebody's going to be coming in to take the place of whoever this is someone that's in greater alignment with you someone that's in greater alignment with what you truly want in a relationship or life okay Now, down here we have the Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and Strength. There are a lot of options. There are a lot of, in, a lot of illusions around all of us, Spirit is saying, right now with the Seven of Cups. And we're all needing to just keep the balance and show some restraint. Um, I feel like a lot of, some of you may be really restless at the moment I'm, with the strength card here because I'm getting a message of needing to, um, yeah, needing to show restraint in some way, calm the, I'm hearing calm the inner child. I wonder if, like some of you that, if you've been working, doing some inner child work, there might be some fear. I'm picking up that there's some fear that the inner child is attaching to or attached to. That's very interesting. I mean, many of us were, are still in this in this limbo type energy a little bit with this two of pentacles. The two of pentacles has been coming out a lot, a lot. And it's really interesting that it's been coming out so much, but it's to me, it's just talking about how we are all still in kind of an in-between period here. And this queen of swords energy is kind of exactly what we need to get through it logical straight up to the point no if ands or buts no time wasted okay i do see an upgrade here i'm not gonna lie guys i see an upgrade from this page of cups energy to the knight of cups energy like so literally a judgment has been made and for a lot of you, this judgment, <clears throat> this judgment happened on an energetic level, which translated into um, a physical representation, which is now what you could be, what you could consider the Queen of Swords here. Okay. Many of you don't even really care whether this apology comes through or not. Not even trying to stress about it. Okay. 
and the the the, the Excuse me. This judgment call or this decision that's been made is facilitated facilitated by the fact that you're no longer a vibrational match to this. With judgment here, it's like because judgment is a um, a wake up call. Is I think of it as ascension. Um, it's like you've you've risen to a new level. You've literally upgraded from the page to the cup to the night and this could actually really be talking about you as well which would be why you would be a, a, a vibrational match to someone who actually does want to express some sort of love um, wants to build some sort of relationship you would be a vibrational match to that at this point for some of you you could have <laughs> quite a few options and you might be juggling between the two or however many there are. I'm, but what I'm getting here is with, with strength. Okay, well, with this last row, to be honest, seven of cups, two of pentacles and strength. Um, there, you're just needing to Com I'm so sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there has been this cat. We have a good amount of stray cats around. And there's this cat that's been like howling all morning outside. And it's like three degrees out there. And I'm like, oh my God, this poor cat. Is it okay? <laughs> oh my God, is it, it's like freezing to death out there. <sighs> Focus, Eric. But I don't know if you guys can hear it. If you can hear it, that's what that sound is. It's kind of heartbreaking. Um, I lost my train of thought. But there's some. There's definitely some restraint that's needed here. Um, keep your focus. Don't lose sight of your of your goal. Don't let the obstacles or the confusion or the illusion get to you the, the the seven of cups is giving me a very strange energy okay but it all it has all to, i don't even know if i can really put it into words but it has everything to do with this two of pentacles situation here we're still in between realities you know we're still making the shift <clears throat> okay so let's get some clarification here. We're going to start with the Page of Cups in reverse with Judgment. Yeah, you really hear that song. Listen to that song, guys. I might, um, I might share it on my Facebook page. Save as Draft. By Katy Perry. Okay, we're going to give this one more shuffle. And then we're going to get clarifying. So I'm using this Epic Tarot deck to clarify. It is available at Om Shanti Bookshop, where I do readings every Friday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box of this video. You can go ahead and then check them out. They do have items available to purchase online and they will ship it for you. Or if you like, you can give them a call, place an order, and they can ship it for you. Yeah? Check them out. They're a great store. I really I really love being, um, being there. It's fantastic. Okay. Starting with the Page of Cups in reverse with, the, with Judgment Upright. Please, Spirit. Let's see. Let's see. These Six of Pentacles. Yeah. That makes... That makes perfect sense. Oof. Wow. Okay. So underneath the deck is the Knight of Swords. In this deck, knights are griffins, pages are unicorns, queens are phoenixes, and kings are dragons. Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. So... 
yeah, I mean, we have a connection here with the Two of Cups, but it was just too burdensome. Okay, it got to a point where it was just too much. And this could be for both sides of the equation, regardless of, you know, what specific circumstances someone would cite as for them personally, oh, this is too much. It doesn't matter, regardless, both sides of the equation. And most of the struggle hinged on an imbalance of give and take with the Six of Pentacles. And the reason why this person, uh, <clears throat> wow, um, the reason why this person cannot or is choosing not to apologize or is choosing not to face it, choosing not to handle it, is because they, for some reason, there is an incapability of giving, being truthful, being honest, being sincere. Also, with this Knight of Swords, <clears throat> this Knight of Swords energy, for others that don't necessarily resonate with that, um, it's exactly what I was thinking or what I was picking up on, which is, <laughs> it's probably going to turn into a fight. Someone probably, maybe even both sides of the equation, may not be able to deal with what the other has to say in relation to the situation. It's entirely possible. It just became too much. For some of you, this person feels like they could never repay you. Like the debt is way too high to ever even be able to think about repaying you. So they just choose not to acknowledge it any longer. Mm. Okay. So now let's go over to Moonchild and the Knight of Cups. Because I do see a new person, a, a different person in this. Now, it could be the same person for some of you. It could be. For others of you, this is... A brand new person. Let's see what we've got here. Please, spirit. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. All right. Underneath the deck is the three of cups. So social scene, the social setting. But this is a situation that I feel where the three of cups is a good thing. All right, um, now the Hierophant flew out here. It landed on this side. There's a lot of, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, whoa. Wow. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. This is a counterpart. These are counterparts here. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. There is a lot of learning happening over here on this side of the equation, okay? We have the Six of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like there's de there's definitely somebody coming new. No, wow. Somebody new coming in for you. This is someone that is taking it slowly, okay? Now, like I said, this could be the same person, but that has just changed drastically. For others of you, this is a new friend, a new soulmate even. But there's a victory here with the Six of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You see how that's a unicorn. I love unicorns. What else do we have here? We have two more cards. Oh boy. But we have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. Well, gee, what does that mean? <laughs> These were the first two cards that flew out, actually. We're... There's a hefty amount of denial here happening, guys. A hefty amount of denial. For some of you, you are actually denying the fact that this person may not 
this new this person here, not the new one, for those of you that are connecting with someone new, but there's a lot of denial between the three of swords, I'm sorry, the two of swords and the seven of swords. Not facing the fact that you have to let go and just move forward with something new. I mean, everything, the universe is kind of saying between the high priestess and the hierophant here, that everything, you, you learned what you needed to learn. You've experienced what you've needed to experience in this situation. And at this point, you're kind of just, excuse the expression, but you're kind of just beating, the, beating a dead horse. You have to, because look, with the two of swords here, okay, it's like you're refusing to face something. Someone's refusing to face something. And that's stabbing you in the back. You're stabbing yourself in the back. You're deceiving yourself. I feel like for some of you, there's already someone here that's trying to make some sort of effort. Trying to send you a message, trying to communicate with you, trying to build something, build a friendship even. And you have a victory with the Six of Wands. But pride and ego. Is that my phone? Anyway, pride and ego is kind of standing in the way for some of you. Okay, but like I said, moving here, down here, many of us are still kind of in between worlds here. So you might be in a situation where you are still holding on to the past while trying to move forward and that's not gonna help. That's not gonna work. And I do feel that with this three of cups here underneath the deck, there's a social setting that, and this feels good. This time when the Three of Cups is coming out here, so a lot of the time it doesn't, it often hasn't felt too good lately, but this one feels good. There is a very beneficial social setting around you that's going to help you move forward. It's going to help push you forward, okay? Move you in a new direction is what Spirit is saying, but you have to let go and let it happen. You've got to take everything that you learned with this, with the High Priestess and the Hierophant, and just move on. That doesn't want to be picked up right now. It's fine. Let's get into the Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and Strength, please, Spirit. Yeah. Six of Swords. Okay. Okay. That's good to see. Four of Wands. Excellent. Now, in this deck, wands, um, the suit of wands is actually the suit of books, okay? And it really talks, it, I like how it's, it's depicted that way because it talks about writing a book. And wands are often, um, represent creativity, right? So we've started on a new chapter, maybe even a new book. And we've got some good solid foundation. We've got a good start to it, but this is not a time to rest on your laurels. You still have work to do. Wow. Oh, yeah, see? See? Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups came out. This is clarifying the Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and Strength. You're, all, you're, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you're already on your way. Some of you need to get moving. But this would mostly be in a mental state, like a, a, a mental way, okay? Um, like mentally, you have to start moving into this new direction. You have to start letting go of this past circumstance. It was too, there were too many burdens. And regardless of why there were too many burdens, it doesn't matter. There were too many burdens. It was too troublesome. But you have to face that in order to move forward to the new. You have to face that and release it and let it go and say, okay, I'm done. Just move on. Stop waiting around for some sort of closure. Stop waiting around for some sort of apology. You don't need it, says Spirit. You don't need that. You, what you need is to let go for yourself. You don't need that validation from someone else. Just take what you learned and move forward, right? Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. 
Guys, oh my god, okay, wait, I want to start with this first. The Eight and the Nine of Wands. Someone may be trying to communicate with you, but you're really, really guarded. For others of you, you have a clear and open path to move forward with. Just keep going. You might be tired, you might be exhausted. You might be battered and bruised. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. The Eight of Wands is swift communication or swift movement. Direct movement too, like knowing exactly where you're going or what you're aiming for and going for it, okay? But then, good golly, look what else came out. And I didn't even notice this. At first I only saw the Nine of Cups, but it's the Nine and the Ten. You guys, that's really beautiful. You progress, look, look guys, but also check this out. You've got a progression here. From the eight to the 10. Walk away with the eight of cups. Fulfill yourself with the nine of cups. Allow the universe to bring you ultimate fulfillment. There's someone coming. Guys, there's, and, and, and we've been saying this for a long time. I know Missy has been saying it because I know many of you follow me and Missy of Saltwater Heals, Heals Tarot. Somebody's coming in. But you have to let go of the past in order to make space for that. You've learned, guys. Think about everything you learned and experienced here, both spiritually and physically, High Priestess and the Hierophant. Now you've got a counterpart situation here coming out. And this came out while I was um, clarifying this Knight of Cups and the Moon Child, which is saying to me that for some of you, for many of you, I mean, this is you moving forward in a new creative direction with your heart open and ready to receive and give in a much more healthy way. But it's also talking about somebody new coming in with that Knight of Cups. And this really could be the counterpart situation that ultimately you were looking for because this flew out, this flew out and it fell on this side here with this person that was, and as soon as I start talking about that, that song, Save His Draft, starts playing in my head, okay? So obviously, whoever this is, for this energy with the Page of Cups in reverse with Judgment, they realize they're needing to apologize, but they're just not having the strength to do it, which is fine. I'm not passing judgment, I'm not throwing shade. It is what it is. And the other probably are too many burdens to do that, to do so right now. Maybe it'll come much later down the road, but you have to let go of that. And you thought maybe for many of you, that could have been, you might've thought that was the ultimate counterpart, but eh, the cards are saying, no, not necessarily. Someone that's coming in here is in greater alignment with you. Okay. I love this depiction right now. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. What this is saying to me is this is greater spiritual union. This is greater, greater alignment, greater divine union. This is straight up spiritual. The high priestess is the is like a representation of the feminine spirit realm, whereas the hierophant is the representation representation of the spirit of spirit within the physical realm. That's beautiful. Okay. Oh my God. Um, Oracle. Whew. I couldn't remember the word. Oracle time, guys. Good Lord. Don't mind me. I'm just crazy. <laughs> anyway, Oracle section now. Okay. Here we go, guys. Best message, please, spirit, for today. There it is. Horse. All right. Oh, 
right. What is I'm, what am I doing here? I'm doing this. Okay. I like that. I like that. That, that feels really good. That feels really good, you guys. Okay. Here we go. There it is. Horse. Momentum, freedom, expansive energy, and force. The horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy within the deck. It provides us with momentum so reliable, so supportive, that you can ride on its back toward any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive, and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practice. Physical stamina, exercise, and mental focus, meditation, are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. When in balance, horse achieves anything and never gives up. When out of balance, horse runs away and feels weak. To bring into balance, one can practice through some strength training. Move forward on your journey. Don't give up just because this one, there, this, there's a certain person that seems to be no longer a part of, oh, no longer a part of the path for you. Think of it as a stepping stone. You're on to bigger and greater, greater things, says spirit. Just keep moving forward. Don't worry about past circumstances. That's just it. They are the past, right? Crystal Mandala deck is going to be our closing message today. Alrighty, guys. Closing message for today, Thursday, there it is, there it is, Sacred Play. This is such a beautiful card too. I just love the colors on this. Look at, look at how gorgeous this is. Uh, Angel Kali Kaliel. <laughs> Are we talking about Superman here, Kalel? I'm just kidding. Angel Kal Khalil, I hope I'm saying that correctly, and Polychrome Jasper, Sacred Play. Look at how beautiful that is. And this could definitely be talking about the inner child again, too. You know, needing to play, needing to get into a playful energy with the universe here. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Card number seven. Sacred play. We bring you the gift of sacred play. We enter your heart bringing joy and, ability, and an ability to have fun, to laugh, to see the silly and playful side of life, and to be entertained by the wonderful spectacle of life. When you know how to look, you will see the joyful hand of the creator behind so many of the people, places, and things you see every day. You will begin to feel the creator's delight in creation, and you will feel laughter deep in your soul, a joyful connection with the universe, as you realize that even in its strange and sometimes dark mystery, life has a brightness and delight to it, a sense of humor, and a quirky, amusing, enjoyable beauty. We know there is a great joy inside you, and we will help you reconnect with that joy now, so even your most arduous challenges are not, will not diminish your capacity to feel the light of your spirit and take delight in your life. That's pretty beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. All right, guys, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, uh, looking to do happy hour tonight. So if you're up for it, come on by and hang out with me. That's going to be around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, if you'd like a personal reading, go ahead and shoot me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. I hope you guys have a great day. Much love, and I will connect. I look forward to connecting with you soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.